this is Shelly from Frugal Family Home and today I wanted to show you how easy it is to make pie crust from scratch. So we want to start out with one and a fourth cups of flour, all-purpose flour. You can also use um, whole wheat flour if you'd like. And to that we're going to add in about a half a teaspoon of salt and just mix that up. Then we're going to add in a third of a cup of shortening. You can use butter if you want. We have to eat dairy free so I always use shortening and we're going to cut it in. And to cut in the butter I like to use my hands because it's really easy and you just want to kind of pick up the flour, the butter or the butter or shortening and the flour and you just pinch it like that and drop it. And you just pinch and drop and as you do this cuts in the shortening or the butter if you're using butter and and it makes a very nice pie crust doing it this way. You can use a pastry cutter too but I find that this gives me more uniform pieces of um, fat distributed to, through the flour better and uh, as you um, go through just keep pinching and dropping it and mixing it in until the fat is evenly distributed throughout the flour. And we're almost done here. It's really quick as you can see. Only takes a few moments. And that looks pretty good. We have some nice pea-sized pieces. There seems to be a little bit of fat distributed through all of the flowers. You can see it's not quite as white um, flour now that we've gotten the fat mixed in. It looks kind of a yellowish color and there's, there's little pieces and then smaller pieces throughout. Okay, now that we've got the fat all mixed in, I'm going to use a fork and put in some water. I just add about a tablespoon at a time, not too much, and we just want to mix it in till the dough is all damp and it starts to come together. So it takes just a minute. I usually put a little water here and there. Usually a fourth of a cup is all the amount of water you need. You don't want to add too much water but you don't want the dough to be dry either. So the pie dough needs to stick together and see there's still a little bit that's just not sticking. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water and see if I can get the dough to come together. It looks like we're going to need a little bit more because there's still a dry spot here and there. And then just mix it up and you might have to clean your fork a few times but I can tell now that this looks like it is moist enough. There's not any dry areas at all and so it's looking good. Let me see if we can bring it together into a ball and we can and it's not too tacky it's just nice and moist and it sticks together quite well you can even clean the bowl with it and that's what you want your pie dough to look like at this point. Okay so now we have our ball of dough ready to go and um, what you want to do is flour a um, cutting board or surface and then I like to pat my pie dough out into a circle like this. And then we're just going to roll it out. And to roll it out you want to make sure before you do it to flour both sides. So I just flip it over and make sure there's flour on each side. I take my rolling pin and I start in the center and I roll away. And then I give it a turn and I roll and give it a turn and roll again. And as it needs more flour I put flour on the top, flip it over and make sure there's flour on the bottom. And I'm always rolling away from me, giving it a turn and rolling away just to make a nice circular um, pie crust and um, it just is um, just makes a better pie crust doing it this way than rolling you know back and forth. Don't do that. Just keep going until it is the right size to go into your pie plate. You know either a seven or eight um, or eight or nine inch 
pie plate. And this looks like it's really, really close here. So I'm gonna grab my pot plate. Okay, once you think you have your dough rolled out to the right size, then test it out. And here you can see it's gonna fit into the pie plate quite nicely. And then I will roll my pie crust onto my rolling pin to pick it up and then roll it back out into the pie plate. I do this so it doesn't stretch it too much and then I just seat it down into the, into the pie plate or pan. And I can see I need to move it this way just a little bit to get this edge up. Now the extra edges, I don't have too much overhang here. And what I like to do is just go around and tuck those edges under. It thickens up the um, pie crust edge so it doesn't overcook as easily and um, since it's a little thicker. And then I just keep going around and tucking it all under, making a nice thick edge. And there we go. So once I get it to this point, I kind of press it down just a little bit and make sure that the pie crust is seated quite nicely by going around the edges and pushing it in so it doesn't pull down when I'm adding the filling or when I'm cooking. And then you just want to flute your edges. And for me, I just like to flute the edges by just pushing it up like this. I find it's the easiest way. For me, it's not super decorative. I know some people like to do um, different ones. This is just the way I like to do my pie crust. If you have a favorite way you like to flute the edges of your pie crust, then go ahead and use that. And then as you go around, just do all the way around and there we go and then I just kind of press it down a little bit because this does make it stand a little bit make it look nice and there we go so this is my finished pie crust now it's ready to be filled and if you were making a um, double crust. You'd want to double this recipe, cut it in half, and then roll out the bottom pie crust, put the filling in, put the other pie crust over top, and then tuck it in. This one I'm going to use for actually making a, um, um, a pudding pie. I'm going to put um, make some homemade pudding and after I bake this um, pastry crust. So that is it to making your own pie crust at home. As you can see, it didn't take very long and, um, and it just takes four ingredients. And so I hope this helps you be more confident in making your own at home. Mm -hmm.